All right, guys. Well, it's a beautiful night out here on Lake Michigan. We're fishing out of South Haven tonight, and I wanted to quickly put a video together showing you guys how my boat is set up and the way I like to run it, and it'll kind of relate to a lot of people. I just got a lot of questions this past winter on setting up a small boat for Lake Michigan fishing. And uh, so the key to doing this is having everything lined up properly so so you can run as many rods as you want to run which this boat i can do 12 rods in this boat um right now it's just me and ross we've got our six rods spread out so i'm going to start with the downrigger that's the number one thing you guys need to make sure you get some downriggers and these have two rod holders in them which we don't really use but that is always mounted back the furthest um and i like to run them kind of where they're running straight off the back of the boat so when you go to set your divers uh it doesn't get in the way when you go to flip those divers over the lines. Um, with my boat, it has this thing called a VersaTrack. So I made little brackets to mount everything on and they all fit in that VersaTrack uh, bracket kind of holder. Now, if your boat just has flat gunnels, you can bolt brackets directly to it, however you want to do it. I can, if you have any questions on these, just drop it in the comments and I can go over it a little bit more. Um, but your main thing is your downrigger. Get a set of downriggers. These are cheap ones, a couple hundred bucks, and it'll get you to where you can get your baits down to depth and you know what depth you're running them at. The next step is get a really good, you only need one to start, but a good rock solid diver rod holder. Don't get the cheap plastic ones like these because they'll break. These are made by Canon and these are the dual axis ones. So you can go this way and up and down. You don't need those to start, but they are handy. So these go all the way down. You can see we've got our wire diver in them right now and they're rock solid. Once a fish hits, you grab the rod and it auto up. So it's just really, really nice, especially when you've got a big king on. So those are very important. Like I said, don't cheap out on your diver rod holders. Um, very, very important to get them really solid. The next thing is a set of trees for your board lines. So. These are triple ones and they're fully adjustable. They're made by Millennium. They're the most affordable, adjustable triple trees that I've been able to find and they're super solid. We've ran 500 and 400 coppers off of them um, with no issues. Right now we're running a 225 on that side and a 300 on that side. Um, but that way you can get your board lines out. And like I said earlier, we've only got six rods out right now. Normally we'd stagger our boards so where there's three boards on each side. That way you can run your three board lines and they're out of the way and you've got kind of extra lines out fishing. So all in all, you can run, you can run your downrigger, that's one. You can run a high low diver all out of a small boat without any problem, plus your three board lines. So that gives you your 12 rod spread and uh, fishing that out of a smaller boat is all you really need. The only thing you don't have on these, on these small boats is your shoot rigger that a lot of the bigger boats run, the charter boats, which is nice to have, but you know, we can't all have big 32 foot tiaras. So that I think goes over kind of the basic of setting up a boat, how I like to space everything out and virtually tangle free this way. Um, when I get out, when like when me and Ross ran out today, we always set our downriggers down, we add our sliders and then we kind of work out. So we go downriggers, divers, and then get all of our board lines out. And that way Nothing gets snagged, nothing gets tangled, and uh, you know, you're ready to fish as fast, as efficient as possible, which is really important. So if you guys have any questions about this, um, about my brackets, about how I have stuff set up, anything like that, just drop them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them as best as I can. And uh, we're gonna fish a little bit longer and hope to catch a fish. So hopefully this helped you guys a little bit and thanks for checking it out.